Does anyone hmm. want to take a crack and remember what happened last time? We we what we all we all heard as um we all heard as Tyler tried it last time and well, he got some details. Okay, so I'm missing body wash. Right, come on. So for the record, I wasn't there last week, smartass. Oh, you weren't? No, it was the week before. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Love you. <laughs> See, so... A party. Made their way towards the... Oh, hello. Where we're just starting recap, don't we? Hey, there's... There's RJ. Everybody wants to hear. <laughs> what do you want? Made their way towards the... Uh, little house with the... Woman... Tina Rickledust. In doing so, they came in a little bit of hot water. Made me realise that the party have a hard time fighting bandits, but that's okay. They found Tina, who was more than happy to assist and join their little their cause their little cause. I make it sound like it's just such a thing. <laughs> really join their Why cause and you know give them some information. That information came by and she was just given insight that the device that almost killed everyone back in Vogler was initially a weed burning tool of all things. And not the good weed either. The grow in your garden, get rid of it with a killer type. She was under attack by some goblins that you just had saved and you just made your way back to Calaman where you just received your orders. In these particular orders, you were given a few, but you just picked one. It stated a few weeks ago, we sent forth a task force to keep tabs on the Draconian army. We learnt a few things from them. Apparently, the Dragon Army pays well for those willing to join. The bipedal hooded figures are called Draconians, and their high commander is called Kans. Saldi Fire Eyes. I am 100% sure I butchered that. Can't Saldi Fire Eyes? Call Saldi Fire Eyes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Cunt Eyes for short. <laughs> Can Saldi Fire Eyes, yeah. Uh, I used a horrible font for these guys. <laughs> the scouts were stationed some 6 miles east of Vogler, 20 miles northwest of Calaman. And they had not sent word in a while. They fear the worst. That being said, they also wish to confirm suspicions before making any solid declarations. Find the scouts, collect any vital information that they may have gathered, and confirm their status. Signed, Marshal Nesta Vendry. And so, the party geared up for what they could given the question. time what uh -huh. you all just to be clear you, you all wanted me to play right yeah if you can play if you, if you can't i'm not gonna say you know oh no um i mind i might not have access to a computer but i can play that's right i can play a character for you if need be man i have no issue with that i didn't know you couldn't play <laughs> Oh no, I was I, I just had uh I had other plans, but I can um well there weren't really big plans. Where I just mostly wanted to lay in bed under the uh warmth and warm protection of my blanket and study for midterms. Oh. I'm I'll be honest with you, if you want to study for midterms more, I'm not gonna stop you. Like Oh no, no, <laughs> like the midterm thing it stopped me. It's 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 the sheets. <laughs> That's right. So as everyone set out, a few people done a little bit of shopping. Uh, a few people bought and sold some things. Melano went to the. Um, she went to her new mentor's place to learn how to be a little bit more useful in the field. And Bernard made his way to and around the castle, got familiar with people and 
heard the speculations. As it was, we will pick it up with a bit of a jut forward. <clears throat> the party, all in their accommodation, enjoying a quiet night. Some in trance, some just passed out. As it were. It's <laughs> a safe night, but put some things down, but I'll get detail. <clears throat> uh, firstly, for everyone, it is completely safe. Uh, you can go ahead and click long rest and take the long rest on your sheet. Um, especially those who would benefit from it, uh, being uh, well, by the looks of it, Boralis more than anything. Uh, also, uh, Fane and Boralis, uh, both being Eladrin, uh, what's your season? Uh, winter. Make it winter today. Look at us. <laughs> Bonding already. Yeah. <laughs> but Eladrin, uh, Really read the class, but of oh, our race, but I thought they had a they were they're able to like fluctuate like daily, yeah. Uh, per long rest, they can Ooh. pick their what you call it? Per long rest, they can pick their kind of like a snow bunny day day. Actually, you know what? I want to be different. We'll do spring. Damn, no, I'm hard. Society likes when you conform. <laughs> I'm still not a conformist. Today, today I'm spring. Today I'm dirty. Mm. I want to be pretty. Tomorrow I know I'm just dead. I you conform to the actual season. <laughs> I do have a question. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, did, did Exodus go on the mission in character? And if so, would I be able to get armor? You did not go on the mission. Alright, so it'd be said that he woke up in the morning with, like, food poisoning. Or some shit. So, from, like, something he... <laughs> Canonically, you slept in. It was nice to be lying in a comfortable bed for a change. Alright. You know, just uh, as, as... It had a mattress, my guy, and, like, it was a warm castle. Mm. Yeah, the armor is only... Be for the mission, I'd like to point that out. Between then, if you're not on mission, your armor is whatever you have, unless you actively went and buy it. Oh, okay. So it's like it's on loan. All right. Yeah. It's damn. All right. Yeah. It's like you got to check it out before you go out into the field, and I guess check it back in when you're off duty. Yeah. The only things that doesn't account to is towards your rations, because you know, food spoils. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I figured it might work somewhat similarly to that. So I, I just, like, I probably could use the bow for like combat, but I just generally wanted to supplement, like, have a way to eat when we're out and we're out and about. So, well, since you are, and your, Aladrin Elven trance there, for us. <coughs> Though you don't sleep, you feel your neck getting heavier. There's a sort of burning almost. Not necessarily, you know, singe burny fire, but something's getting a little bit hotter than it should be type heat. And it seems to <clears throat> permeate from your. What about your sternum? I think that's like your thorax, is it? Let's call it your sternum and call it a day. <laughs> your neck seems to be getting heavier as the heat in your thorax. Sternum. Who's having this happen? Borellis. Borellis. What did you say, Matt? I think I'm dying. <laughs> so you 
feel down. Feel the necklace around your neck getting a little bit more heated. If you do. You just touch it. There seems to be a bit of a sort of spark in the back of your mind. Something somewhere somehow seems to just click. And click. Your neck stops feeling so heavy. <laughs> and your thorax, sternum, your sternum stops feeling so warm after a moment. Let's look around. Everyone else is sound and fast asleep. It seems you are the only one who had this happen. <clears throat> As it were, for the rest of it, he's all awake. Call it. Well, 8 7 a.m. You know, 7 a.m. Good time to wake up. 7 a.m. when you're in the military. 7 a.m. As you do. What do you wish to do? He's all awake in the. You know. You know the word I'm looking for that I am. Lodgings is the word I'm looking for. I'm getting the map up as well. Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. We should have a, uh, a mission to go on to today. Yep, it's uh, missing quite question. a ways off. 20, 20 plus miles. We can try out the far gab while we're out. We can get somebody here at the castle to monitor it. We need to get moving. I'm Everyone sure that before. somebody would be willing to assist us here. Maybe Derek. Or even. Or even Tatina. Um, oh. I even out to them. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I wanted to you know, just run out to them and ask them uh, if they could hold on to this. Like, I guess keep an eye on that for us. We have something that we're planning. And this might be of use to uh, <coughs> monitor. Well, at the end of your last session, you did give that to uh, Governor Mayat. So, it is... It would be within the army's possession if you used to have the other one. Um, we to see if test it. So, as uh, Brian, you kind of you know, get dressed first and foremost. <laughs> as you head down the stairs into the war room, as we'll call it now. It's now the war room. See Governor Mayat and Darrett with. Tatina Rickle Dust. All gathered round the table, maps strewn. They are at it quite early, as you see all the little pieces around. As you look at it, you can get a rough idea of the scale of the assault on the continent right now. It seems to stretch quite far. Looking at it, and then you get the names of places, and hopefully my pronunciation guide is correct, but we'll see. You can see uh, that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did have a good chance to enter in there, but uh, I guess this would have woken up and followed with them. Yep. <clears throat> Let's go. As you go down, you hear of the army pushing through the Sylvaneste area. You can see the little markings to annotate that that place is quite frankly overrun at this point. You can see advancements to the... Oh, I am... That's fucking tiny, man. The... Do, 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 do. Abenashi uh, area. Why did they put a map this big on such a small piece of fucking paper? I'll never understand. <coughs> And you can also see as well, in the Salamnia area, where you are, there is quite a few smaller pieces that all seem to indicate numerous 
I suppose what I'm looking for is sightings of the enemy. It's different reports as you just go down in step. No more Myatt and Darrett look. It's, uh, how can we help? We are currently discussing the intel that we have. It seems everywhere else currently is under similar sieges, but we are at the start of ours. How is it I can assist? Is there anything you need? It's the governor talking to. Uh, more information Bain? on our current mission. Uh, on sorry, oh. so on speaking to Bren and Exodus. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I just kind of wanted to be there as kind of a mouthpiece for Exodus to um. I, I don't. I don't know. Like, 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 we're all still working together under official capacity, but I feel like you know they might be a bit more amenable if I ask them something that Exodus wants, at least for the time. But what do you mean Exodus wants? Exodus. What I even said earlier, he was following you guys. Yeah, Brent. Then you, you went down one, first. Okay, so I'm, I'm messing up names. Who uh, was the one that wanted something done and watched over by? That was everyone. Everyone came to the conclusion that they want the far gap to be watched over by someone. Okay, okay. So the party, what the party, what we all want. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm just going to. Uh, trying to think of a way to nicely put this. I wasn't aware. Of, I wasn't paying too much attention last at the end of the last session, but um, I don't really have a way to put it. But I just kind of want to, uh, you know, say that in a very nice way. Very much, you know, appealing to hierarchy and manners and whatnot. And what is it you're specifically asking? Well, let's just... Okay, I, excuse me. I, I wanted them to... Well... Okay. You're wanting yeah, someone. I, it, it is right out of my mind. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, let me wanted. let me give you another shot here. We're looking. Uh, we're heading out on our mission to uh, see what's happened to your scouts, and we have this new device that Tatina was had created, saying that we can keep in contact over many miles. Uh, we think this would be a good time to field test it. If someone back here at the castle would be able to monitor it while we're out. We'll keep it on the side table there, just in case. Um, if it works, we'll get back to you immediately. I hope it works. It would be a great line of communication for our forces in the front lines. But... We will, yeah. we will uh, check in periodically and let you know our landmarks, and uh, that'll give you an idea of how far, at least in one direction, the device works. Of course, of course. Is that what you wanted to say to, there, Mac? Essentially, yes. Um, I wasn't quite aware of well what you were asking the monitor for. What reason? I was, I was, I, I thought it was like something that would, you know, relay coordinates of certain things that we were finding out in the field. I didn't know it was something to, well, to look for something or to gauge something in a specific area. I it's, thought it was just uh, you know, two weeks of it's basically a field test of a radio, twenty-five oh, volt okay, radio. Okay, okay. I, I so we're going to see how well it works. I thought it was it's created. Of like a, well, not really conveying actual conversation or ideas. I thought it was like you're we're out here exploring, and they're back there looking at what I guess the terrain that we're mapping out or something. But it's oh. a bit more involved than that, you know, since it's verbal. Just a vo verbal vo voice communication device. Okay, I thought it was something that would be niche. That's right. Uh, well, as you are, I'm assuming everyone is with each other. Uh, as you are heading out, is anyone wanting to do anything beforehand? So I know. Uh, for inventory. 
Is there anything that would be useful while I'm out there? Can we just say I refill my water skin? Do I have to pay for that? Nah. Okay. Let me refill my water skin while I'm in town. Uh, rations are good. I have like six days worth. Still have my ball bearings and caltrops. Uh, anybody want a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yes. Okay, I give uh, I give Exodus a mirror. I'm sure this is like I set my. Actually, it's a small mirror set with a. Ooh. A small it's mirror a small... set and a painted. So set just means placed. I already uh, uh, changed my two to a one, so you don't have to worry about that. He puts it in his room, like in the corner. All right. Well, it weighs nothing, so it's on your sheet, just so that way you know you have it. All right. Yep. We're fighting again. Yeah. Anyone else for anything else? Or are we heading out? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm ready to head out. I think I'm ready. Okay. Then, <clears throat> as you saw, head out of the city. I have the, is this the right map? Be the right map. Not quite the right map. What about this one? Hey, Not much makes it point to call people youngin. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you all head out in the weirdest set of coordinates ever, I want to go to the Blood Sea of Ishtar. That looks fun. No. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't got those I books, my guy. I'm asking to visit that red landmass that looks a lot like a dragon's head. That's, that's, not, that's not a landmass. That's an ocean. No, no, to the far left. Oh, far oh, left. To the border of the map. To the Tiamat. Red... <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I was trying to make a joke. I wanted to visit the head of Tiamat. So, as you head... In the direction of 20 miles north of Callum. Sorry, let me get that again. Uh, the weirdest direction of 20 miles northwest of Calaman, 6 miles east of Vogler. Look how far away Which from home I am. That's kind of sad. That doesn't make sense. East of Vogler, so west of Vogler, or west of Calaman is up this way, but east of Vogler is over here. They're on opposite sides of the river. <laughs> anyway, um, cartography aside, each hex here is meant to represent about 25 miles. So, question is, how art thou getting there? We have to go across the, uh, a river. No, I mean, like Shanks' his pony or what? I'm, a, I'm just going to horse, yeah. yeah horses. I'm just going to use my good old legs. <laughs> I'm never getting over that. Yep. Give me a second here. Uh, so... I'm getting our movement speeds up because if we're on horse, it certainly changes things. Uh, oh, you know, I didn't think about that. Um, well, can I can I commission um a uh, a horse from the forces to uh, borrow? And would that be a wise decision for the distance we're traveling? Well, I've been doing it. You'd be given a horse. Yeah, I think I I was I was just well, we we've been given a horse this whole time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You've been getting everywhere, um, horse because one person has a horse, and if they have a horse and no one else has a horse, then them having a horse is pointless. Just 
Yeah, I, 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 thought, I thought it was the pointless scenario where they had a horse and I just didn't think to ask, and I thought it was okay because my feet would be fine. Not that we needed a horse to get there in the first place. If I go without a without a horse for this entire journey, will I catch exhaustion? Um. <clears throat> so you would have to travel at a fast pace which means you would have a penalty to your passive perception. My passive oh. perception? Yeah, your passive was the really perception. Open blind. So what what's my what's the penalty? As you travel on a fast pace, you you yourself have a passive perception of 9. Mm -hmm. Is that that's into a, the next long rest or for the journey? For the journey. Mm. I'll just get a horse. That's already yeah. rare that you had one. Don't worry. Thank you, Scottish. Run the everybody already got one. So, as you are traveling through, packing up pace, and you know, I realize I don't have a Bryn token here. Which is going to be useful. Good one, Bryn token. So these are all going through the flat grasslands and such, and through past forest. The the weather keeps it as quite a nice, warm day. It takes you a few hours to get to where you are going. As I told them back at the keep, I apologize for interrupting. That's okay. Oh, if yeah. I can see any major, if I see any major landmarks, I'll radio them. Radio, communicate them back to Fargab <clears throat> to see how well it works. Hmm. Well, I would say, at some point, you do end up passing. Fucking maps. Do, 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 do. Wrong one. I was going to say you pass the bridge to Volgler, but I think that's the other direction. Let me just check. No. It's actually in the right direction. Yeah. As you are going on through, you do eventually pass the bridge to Volgler. Um, Volgler is just about there. Roughly, it's, it's within your, you know, it's within the other cell. But yeah, you do you know, pass over the, pass by the bridge to Vogler. And is your radio in? It takes a moment. At first, you kind of just hear back this of static, an odd sound. Or you hear. <coughs> uh, oh, it works! Yes! Um. Bugler, okay. Any issues with. Draconians? Anything there at all? Or had you. Uh, just gonna use a. And cut. Oh, 25 words. 25 <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that was 25 words. Uh, seemed like it. So you cut off, but no issues so or sightings so far. Proceeding onward. It's gonna after a moment. You know the voice of Mayat. Look like this? Okay. Um if you see anything, give us a rough descriptor. We'll update where needed. As you do, eventually. Oh! Uh, as you do head on out through, you do eventually make it to 
an area. This particular area seems to have seen better days more than anything. It's all scratched, scruffed, and overall broken. It seems that this is the site of at least some form of violence. <laughs> Let's just take a little look. You're told about... You remember the area. Grey Birch, roughly. The trees here are different as you look around. As you are looking... Ah, uh, pa 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 could I have a survival check from anyone who feels remotely confident? <laughs> I'll do it. Oh. Feels remote what? It's already been rolled. I, you know, I don't have to be the only one to roll it. I just had a, a good plus for it. Baral's got a better know. plus. <laughs> oh, no, he don't actually. Baral's got a better plus. He just got a better roll. <laughs> Well, uh, he should. He's the ranger. <laughs> Let me just take a little look here at the snow. Um, God, you look one thing up and all of a sudden there's a billion different fucking... Name, 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 name. Um... Oh yeah, you are completely right. Um... A second. There's an item that you. I don't know what made me look. No, no, no. Keep me right. Keep me right. And I will very quickly just update what I can, where I can, or for you. Because. I am not perfect in any way. Um, there we go. Thank you. Yep. Clink, clang. Almost deleted the wrong thing. Because you weren't already hard enough to hit at level four. Mm. So, within about 15 minutes or so of searching, you all know where the small camp was. As you are looking about and around, I will see. Oh. You can see, based off, there is a scout tried, tied to a tree at the centre of the camp. So you see two draconians seem to have walked up, given it a few pokes before heading back. <coughs> As you are... I'm now going to place down thy tokens and change thy map. There are no walls in this map because, you know, I just had to make it up. So, worry not. We'll just say that the trees are in your favour in terms of vision. But they're also in these guys' favour as well. But it's a little camp, you know. Boom. I hope everyone can see. I'm getting there. Right. <laughs> I can't see if, if that wasn't, um, the joke wasn't apparent. Yeah, no, that's right. But I'm not on a computer, so. I'm just going to tree off <laughs> around the camp for you.
Uh, I will see for, yep, for yourself there um there is a uh, RJ It looks like this and I'm hoping everyone else is on the same map as well. Yep. So <clears throat> these are kind of at the edge of it, but you do see this happening. Clear as day, clear as crystal. Want to be? Um, yep. Yeah. Have Have they seen this yet? No, no. Uh, just a bit too much commotion. They They haven't seen you, and this is you just kind of coming up to it. It's, everything in the trees seems to just line up perfectly. I don't see shit. Oh, I did wall off some trees just to make it, but you still have that. Uh, you have that movement that you can use if you wish. Um, with it, however, a uh, forest area, I would require a stealth check if you wish to get very close. I see you could keep on the outskirts fairly easy enough, but kind of getting past this tree here is going to be a. Well, it's going to be a, a job. Mm, stealthy. I give a uh, hand signal to uh, Morales to skirt around the outside where he can get a good shot. Okay. There's a maximum amount of feet we can walk. Does it matter when you're out of initiative? When you're in okay. initiative, then it matters. When you're out of it, you can just walk however you need to. I'll see his arm. Gonna, as stealthy as I am, I'm just thinking I'm gonna hold still for a minute <laughs> until I get a I can keep Boralus in sight, like he can give a hand. Boralus, I've only signals to what he sees. Oh yeah, stealth. Oh please, 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 please. Fourteen, okay. Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, me? Yeah, you. Could you roll me a quick perception check? What's that number? Six. Six. Come. Cool. Oh, this is harsh. Still quiet. Apart from the obvious noise, but it's getting there. It always helps to set the right mood, you know? Try to give him a hand signal, see how many enemies he sees in the camp. Browse looks back over and holds up two fingers. Alright. And Fane went the other way, was that right? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have line of sight of Fane right now. I have, I have a sight on Boralis. I saw him hold up two fingers. I am back. Cool. <clears throat> People be doing stealthy recon right now, my friend. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't want to run into too much trouble. I'm a good stealth. I'm going to try to move in on the camp. Directly, I need a stealth check too. Are we uh, taking them out? Hell yeah! I'll give you old the from across the throat signal. Oh, I've got to make Bryn <laughs> take a long rest. Give me a little second, guys. Bryn is not taking a long rest. There we go. That was very, very not good. <laughs> that could have been horrible. For oh, Bren, you saucy little bitch. I'm a long of it in two piece, rushing in to say, I'll save you. So, Bren, uh, 
I've thrown you an 18, I've thrown you a stealth check, it's an 18. I'm hoping you can see what's going on. Do you wish to move up at all? Let me see. Stealth check. I don't know if I get like, no, I'm not, I don't have, no. You're wearing chainmail. Chainmail doesn't impose disadvantage to my knowledge. All right. It does. Does it? Why is it not imposing yeah. this? Shit. Oh, I yeah, don't know. Yeah. You're all the third I, I can't wait to get my shirt. I've... I think... Right, what, John, you were saying there? I can't get my sheet to come up. Uh, go refresh. Will do. Yeah. Brent, you got 13. Where are you moving to? 13? I am moving. Hmm. Moving a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Where is that tree? Uh, I guess I'll um, forward. Yeah. Right there. Um. This take forever. Twenty foot brings you in line with Renard. Uh, I will say, as well for the sake of things, uh, Renard, if you wish, you also can take a perception check, um, and also Bryn can take one as well if she wishes. I'll do that. As soon as it comes back up, I will be glad to do it. It is taking forever. Damn, most of these low perception rolls today, guys. Was I able to make one? Uh, not close enough. Mm -hmm. Can I just move closer? You roll the 11 per self, yeah. I will uh, also roll stealth and try to approach from the side. I got a 13 on perception. How oh, did you just hand roll a 13? I'm rolling it on. Yeah, by myself. And I got a six on stealth. Awesome. Plus modifier, your stealth is plus zero. Your perception is plus two. What was that stealth roll? That uh, perception roll? 13. 13 plus two for 15. As everyone is <clears throat> getting closer and closer, huddling together, you point up, trying not to draw too much attention. Sitting in the tree, directly next to you, clearly supposed to be on guard but not doing what he's supposed to be doing. It's another dragon-like beast. Some of you have seen him type it before. Others, however, <clears throat> this is new. This Love is, this guy. This is also this guy. different to the ones in the camp. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Got to take care of him first. Does anybody have rope? Yeah, I have rope. I have rope. Okay. So, is there a way that I can, like, grapple him and tie him down? You would have to climb the tree. The tree's about 10 foot tall. I've given him a height, so you know. The tree's about 10 foot tall. Would use 20 foot of movement because it's class of difficult terrain because you don't have a climbing speed. Does um, difficult terrain affect me? Good question. Let's find out. I don't think it does. Let me check. Are you thinking it's a monk thing or an Aladdin thing? I'm thinking it's a mobile thing. Oh, mobile feet. When you use... When you use a dash action, difficult terrain does not cost extra. However, that's difficult terrain as a whole. In that regard, like, you know, if it's knee-high muck... However, straight climbing I mean, I... as a different type of action, and therefore yeah. you know, as class as like difficult terrain, that's just kind of its justification for using double your speed. I don't think I can. I don't think I can outstrength him anyway. So that grapple is not 
on the cards, really. Damn, man. I'm not saying I know what his strength is. I'm saying I know what my strength is. Um, how do you guys want to handle this? Because as soon as we attack, he's going to be flying everywhere like he did back in uh, Vogler. Is he on a, like, like, a branch? Or is it like a platform? He's perched in the tree. Like, but he's... There's no... Nothing pre-built about this. This is... He's just very much, you know, found himself some sturdy enough branches to hold his weight and to be comfortable. I have a question for you guys here. How well are each of you at, I guess, sneaking around and taking mostly hidden or covered or unnoticed uh, pot shots to things? Like, Not very well. To say, huh? Not very well. My fists do my damage. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I have darts, and darts are amazing. But also like to point out that for that, um, hiding as an action. So, yeah, I wanted. Hmm, we don't really have an early a party full of rogues, but um, oh, well, I can't really get around not having prepared for this. Um, so oh, speaking, I guess right now my options are speaking probably of prepare, something. Huh? Speaking of prepare, um, you have spells that you can prepare. Yeah, I was about to ask what what, what kind of what spells do I have? Uh, I'll send you. I'll send you a screenshot of your spells that you have. Okay. Uh, if it's mm -hmm. if it's green, it's prepared. If it's blue, it's always prepared and innate and good to go at any given time. Um, you have three spells that you can prepare. Uh, your current prepared are Bless, Cure Wounds, and Thunderous Smite. And there's your list of spells sent to you and your DMs, are, my mm -hmm. friend. Let me look at this. Okay, I want to keep Bless, and I want to keep... Oh, God. Oh, 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 this just won't come up. You said what? Oh, nothing. I'm, I'm cursing at myself. Oh. Waiting mm. for the VTT to log back on, and it's just... Mm, taking forever. What does Divine Favor do again? Divine Favor, a prayer empowers you with Divine Radiance. Until the spell ends, your weapons attack to deal an extra 1d4 on hit. Hmm. There's a concentration spell as well, so if you get hit and you fail, you have a chance of losing that. Alright. I'm going to keep the spells I have for right now. And oh, I want all, to of your, all your spells are concentration for cure wins. <laughs> I've only just noticed that. Um, well... Let me just check something. Opinion? Finally. I'm checking, uh, I'm checking, uh, let's see, let's see, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see, let's see. do you want an opinion? I'm um, sure. Shield of Faith is always good. What does Shield of Faith do? Uh, touch someone, give them a plus two to their AC. It's a concentration spell, but, you know. You smack, you smack that on even yourself, give yourself an 18, smack it on uh, Exodus, give Exodus a 14, smack it on uh, smack it on Renard, give him a 21, because that's just what I need in my life. I'm, I'm just trying to think about what could, like, I guess benefit the most people. I'm thinking of my spells as more of a support thing, not really thinking of attacking ah. with them. So I'm trying to think of what could... Potentially, like what three spells would be the best for, you know, throwing that out real quick before we start, or throwing that out in the middle of the battle. So, uh, bless is gonna really... give you. Bless is gonna give you those one d fours that you can throw on people. Yeah. That's um, what I was thinking. Of. The only other thing potentially would be compel duel, but that's only gonna take. That's only gonna like pull something away from something and give it to you. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Hold up. Can Marks run? Across water at ninth level. 
I think I think at ninth level wanna... monks can look at any surface and go, I'm gonna run across that. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, if you want to keep okay. the same spell list as well, there, I'm not gonna stop you, my man. Oh no, yeah, I'm. I'm. Do you have anything to help me with uh, saving throws? Saving throws? I think Bless is gonna do that. Three creatures, your choice. Uh, make an attack roll or saving before the spell ends. They can add one d4 to the roll. Because I need to. Uh, I would like to grapple this flying creature before he just flies off. Well, we can do bless um, before we start. Go for the grapple. Um, anybody else want to get their lucky shots off, and then we can circle yes. back in with uh, um, if we want to start attacking. If we actually manage to get this guy restrained and at least somewhat less mobile, I could switch over to a smite, and then uh, what do you want me to keep over as a as a you know just an extra thing to have? You want me to have cure wound? You want to die? Heroism, you want um you want shield of faith. Oh um probably, sh probably you shield of faith. To be used, like 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 Spider said they're, they're all concentrate well most of them are concentration. They're the ones Ble I have right now. Bless would not work with a grapple. Guidance would work with a grapple. But no one here got guidance. As that's protect that's specifically attack rolls and saving throws. Whereas a, uh, you know, strength check, acrobatics, that's a skill check, and bless oh, does skill checks. Okay. Yeah, pretty big no, oh. I was fixing that one for because I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, so would that work? I play a fucking cleric. I should know that don't work. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Shit's different when you sit on this side of the seat. So, yeah, I would just answer uh, Fane and tell him that I can't really get anything to help him with the grapple. The will to succeed on the roll. You want to be a. Uh, you want to be healed while you're being smashed up against a tree. I can do that if you want me to. Let me see. I recommend you take a look at your any spells, Margie. That's all I'm gonna say. The two at the bottom. I've been looking at those. Yeah. I'm you're trying to think of what else I could add on. Is what I have to choose for today. I'm gonna have those two at the bottom, no matter what. Uh, I just meant in terms of like assisting pain. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, command would work pretty damn nicely with that. So these are, you know, watching on as it happens. The draconians. To be just having a jovial conversation, nothing too earth shattering, all rather mundane. About mm -hmm. where they'd be going next, what they're maybe eating for dinner. No, who wants to be a trillionaire? All that good shit. The uh. I can't use anything in lieu of strength for my grapple, right? I believe it specifically needs to be in athletics or um, strength check, yeah. So, but technically speaking, your athletics is plus one comparative to your strength, which is negative one. Mm -hmm. If I, uh, like, commanded... Uh commanded the Draconian to something like stay still One and word. then feign the like grapple and secure a good hold. Would that bear any bear any um fruit for his role? Or command, towards his role? Command is one word. One word? One singular oh, word. Freeze! Point freeze, point. motherfucker! Because <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be an attack on him, would it? So the grapple, would... Grapples do count as an attack, I think. It's an attack action. It's an attack I mean... action, but it's not an attack roll. Nah, I see. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know, freeze always works. I mean, that's okay. if it works on him. 
We're ready that, to get after if he, if he fails the save. Now, that being said, um, I'm going to volunteer myself here as a, you know, decoy. I want to kind of go around a bit more obviously to a different side. You all flank the other side. That way, at the very least, if I get discovered, the detention's off of you. <clears throat> all right. Be anything worth doing? I All right, let's uh, step up to. let's get to it, guys. Okay. Brass, what was that? Let's go. I said I could face step up to. Mm. Because what you said it was ten feet. Ten foot up, three steps, thirty foot. However, we are now invoking the ancient magics of Pythagoras. Isn't that just thirty? Away, is he? He's ten foot high, Boralus is thirty foot away. So wouldn't that be a thirty five foot line? And I could walk I mean walk over first and then do it. You could I would I, require I, I would way. require another stealth check of that though, just because of your um your line of sight. Right, well, I mean unless that I mean we could I could try that unless no one else has another idea that they're set on. I feel like we're sitting here too long debating about two draconians. <laughs> but three draconians. Well, well, yeah, I can I, see. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm just thinking out loud here, trying to, trying to help a little bit. So, yeah. if, uh, if Boralus, you can let loose on the two draconians that are over there talking, I'll try to grapple the flying one. Uh, okay. Bryn, if you could use command freeze on him. Whenever he inevitably does fly away, because I'm not going to out, out athletics him, I guarantee you that my roles have been horrible. <laughs> All right. Uh, until he tries to fly away, what do you want me to do? Just uh, command freeze. All right, just 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 being sure you know that is not a guaranteed hit, right? Yeah, I'm I'm very well aware. Okay, good. We're, we're going we're gonna to go on face then. I'll put exhaustion tags on the draconians for my own benefit, so that way I can keep track of things going on. Um, Ooh. Do we get a surprise attack for initiation, since they don't see us? Init initiative? Well, that's why the tags are there for determination, as how things are. Because uh, we did spend a bit of time running through it all. Uh, obviously there's going to be a bit more repositioning I feel, so um, I'll use your current stealth rules as they are for your reposition, however for attack I'm uh, going to have to contest the what they see you know, their perception versus your stealth, however I will just do it group rather than individually So okay. how, um, how far can we jump? Oh, fuck you're a monk, you can jump 30 feet, right? <laughs> it's based off of strength <laughs> jumping. This man's got a negative modifier. Oh. How can a yeah. monk not how can a monk not jump? He built into I mean what whatever it is, it's doubled. I think we do actually have a jumping ability. I think you might mean like the spell jump. Okay, so I'm just gonna run up on this guy, up this street, because I have enough movement to do it, and try to grapple him. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can okay. do that. Is any So what's going on with everyone else as well at the same time, so I know what's happening? I'm ready to hit the two draconians whenever I get the signal. I'm on the So mm. I'm going to say that mm. Fane and Boralus are ready. Uh, Fane, you'll get to execute beforehand as you're technically going up a tree and this 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 guy rolled a nat one for perception so like he's he gone he's, he's sleeping uh bryn exodus renard um any movement from yourselves uh where do you wish to position two the tree not necessarily getting too too much closer but i want to get him into my line of sight you want to get who in your lane of sight the draconian so there's i, I don't know if you look at my screen, you can see all three draconians. Which one are you trying to get into your lane of sight? The three one. Excuse me, I didn't know the other ones were draconians. Which one are you trying to get into your lane of sight, my friend? The flying one. 
Okay. Is 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 it? Is the, do they all fly, or are we just concerned about one of them flying? Uh, just this one. Only one of them flies. The one in the tree. Okay. Like I thought. Um. Okay. Right. Well, I will see as that's about to happen. Could everyone, please, make for me one final stealth check? And gripping wise. Oh. Cool. Cool. Alright, give me one moment. Loading it up. Attributes. How did I roll an 11 twice? <laughs> For, uh... mm -hmm. At least you didn't roll what I'm about to roll. So. Do you have a little stealth check? I'm just quickly doing mental math. Uh, mm, 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 mm -hmm, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's not bad. Cool. Uh, so let's see. I then have an eleven, twelve, a twelve, an eleven. I'm liking these rolls so far. And then, Ren, for yourself, Delph. Nine. 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 Okay. Nine. So, 11 and 11 makes 22, 36, 34, 46, 65, divided by 4. I think it's very much safe to say roll initiative. You just have a surprise. They rolled on average eight. Mm. I got a two, a thirteen, yeah. and a nine. Do we uh initiative normal or advantage? Uh normal initiative use will just all go first for round one. So skip their turn, and then for round two it will follow on as normal if there is a round two. These guys here, even, you know, dun 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 dun. Is it just normal? Yeah, just normal, my friend. Okay. So I look at all these numbers here as well. Wow. I got a picture Got a picture of Thane jumping in the general. Hold on, I gotta figure something out. I um, I don't think it's adding my initiative right. What's, um, it, I supposed to, what's it supposed to be adding it? <laughs> We're not, that's a violation. Uh, fancy footwork, I think, or is it Rackish Audacity? check what does it do what is it supposed to get as my Chris modifier to my initiative so it's another plus two right rakish audacity um advantage and attack level you can breathe you add your charisma modifier so for yourself uh you haven't rolled yet so when you roll just add your charisma modifier at the little box all right i refuse to believe you have a charisma modifier of one it's plus two. I just... Uh, oh, the little box. I thought you meant the box in chat. That's right. Uh, here's what we'll do real quick, because... Oh, yeah, I got a roll. Brennan. Brennan. Well, you... Even your addition would not help, as Fane got himself a 27. So, <laughs> wow. Um, so now... No, that 17 yeah. actually does change. So 17 to 19. Oh, 17 through 19 moves you through one. So, for, We're going? The, uh, for the beginning of this, um, bum bum bum. I will say as it goes. Firstly, Bryn fires off her command. Bryn commands the Draconian 2. Please, motherfucker. Your DC is an 11. Is it? Yep, your spell save DC is 11. It's to do with your charisma modifier as a paladin. And your rolls overall were good. Is like, that my... That's not my sheet right there. No, I have your sheet on the other side here. On my other monitor. Mm. Uh oh, okay. yeah, I was about to say, I was confused as hell. You have a 13 in Charisma. Um... Yeah? 
I, I see someone who I did not see before. You mean this person over here? Yeah. yeah. You mean the scout tied to the tree? Oh, really? Okay, never mind. Their uh, their thing is red, so I thought they were uh, yep, restrained. There we go. That block. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Need an 11 or less. You're going to shout freeze, and it turns and looks as it does. It's more opens. And it's going to kind of jot forward. Bane, your command it's has fine. fallen upon deaf ears. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to run up here. Uh-huh. Uh, that's 20 feet of movement right there, so I'm going up the tree. Yep. And I'm going to try to grapple him and restrain him with rope. Okay. Uh, you want to go ahead and, first of all, do your grapple? You said uh, I can use athletics. Athletics or strength check, whichever one's more viable. So for yourself, athletics. 20. Woo! That one. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> cool. Better than else you're done? Just gonna wrestle him down to the ground so he's not 10 feet up. My favorite elf right there. You wanna do that right now? Yeah. Okay. He's gonna use another twenty to get down, because I can do it like that. You want to wrestle him down to the ground? I'm just gonna take him down to the ground. All right. So how much movement do you have in total? Sixty. Sixty. Mhm. Mm because <laughs> that's classed as difficult as well, and this man's just like, nah, it's alright. It's alright. It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Did I announce your turn there, man? Is there is there anything I have to roll for like the way I'm tying him up? Uh it would be a sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand. <laughs> make, make sure he's good and stuck there. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll call him restrained right now, so you can only make uh checks at that on his turn. So you didn't announce your turn there, man? Uh I use forty feet of movement. Uh I'm gonna use Another 20 to go over here. Kill. Cool. And I will fire us over to Exodus. I see that one motherfucker. Is he in there? What? No, no. He's, he's tied up lying on the ground next to you. Hello, dog. All right, then I will. Uh... I no, I, I'm not full or anything. I just had to stop eating to play. Uh, just to get, just to clear it up, we're not supposed to attack right now. No, you can attack if you want, and if you attack, it's at advantage because this is a surprise round. Right. I mean, just plan my eyes. But yeah, all right. I'll try to move to see somebody. I think over here, 10 feet. Is that... Um, we'll use the phrase, what you can see is what you can see. Right. So it's 10 feet. It's 5 feet. What are you saying? <sighs> Meg. Go that way. All right, I see someone. I will. Oh, uh, you just wanted to stretch on me. Yeah, she did. <laughs> so you Let me. Yeah, you see that one there. So you do take have advantage on the attack as well. So technically speaking, sneak attack is viable here because you need to have advantage and surprise round gives advantage. All right. Uh, for some reason, I have Exodus on my hotbar. I don't know how uh, you done that. I don't know how do I remove him from my hot bar. I can't get to my I can't get to my Eldritch Blast because he's on my hot bar. But I'll I'll roll oh, from the sheet. Oh wait, if he's yeah. How the fuck did you? I'll I'll go into your right? later on and remove. I don't him. actually don't have Eldritch Blast. Free action, pull out bow, and the bow I can. Can we I just right-click on him? 
Yeah. Right click on the hot the thing on the hotbar and goes remove macro. Macro. Remove macro. This is any character or any token. Uh, so you have advantage, my foyer. Oh yeah. So a Sorry. fourteen. A fourteen does hit. A fourteen for seven, and uh, you do a technical sneak attack as well because it is at advantage. Oh. Completely forgot. Uh. I think this is sneak attack. No, I can't. Sneak attacks and your features. Thank you. Uh, so much work. No, no, no. I th here's what I'll do for you as well. Um, oh. You know what? I'm going to. Go to your attributes. It's now in your attributes. I, I forgot you could look up stuff in the search bar. Right. So 7 plus 4, boom, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. Um, uh, I will. Um, refresh my page to see if that fixes it. But yeah. Right, I will move over then to. Uh, our loving, caring Bryn. Bryn! Well, the world is my oyster. Is it? So that's what helps you no, sleep at night? No, it's not. It really isn't. But we like to pretend. Um... Fane, are we, are we, um... Are we hitting the bound gentleman until he doesn't move? Um... If, if... There is an attack on him, Scottish. Does he break out of that? No, he has to make his own separate check to break out of his bindings. Yeah, the check is not tied to the attack, is it? The what, sorry? No. Yeah. Okay, no. okay, good. Um, yeah, go ahead. Beat on them all you like. I'm pretty sure you have advantage. Good. <laughs> yeah, technically. Double advantage. So my spell didn't work, so no concentration, right? No concentration? Mm, She's just like... Scary. I want to use my bonus action to prepare a searing smite. Or like ready, like get it ready to uh, hit. She's just like, this is for so, making me a spell searing so, smite. You can cast it and it'll hit. You can add it in for the next minute? Yes. Is I, that right? I wanted, to, I wanted to hit eventually with it. So you have thunderous okay. smite on, but since you have since it's prepared and you haven't used it, oh, it's not. Excuse it's me, good. I don't. It doesn't if, matter. Some sort of smite. If you'd prefer a use searing smite, given that you haven't used thunderous smite, that's you know, I'll happily change it over if that's the one that you'd prefer. I mean, I, I didn't. It wasn't really a. Um, if you want to do that for me, you can, but that that isn't necessary. I've moved over to Serious to make for you. Don't worry. You have you haven't used uh, the other one, so I'm wondering how to change it. They do essentially that was the same a thing. Spoken word on my part, but I can use Serious Smite. That might actually be better. I don't know how people would react to a big thunderous boom. Right, so you move forward ten foot. You pull out the battle axe. I'm assuming. Yes. One or two handed. Mm -hmm. Uh, two-handed, so the shield is not in play, so we can um, unequip that, I guess, and lower the AC. We will bust off a Searing Smite. Oh, this one has a con save to it as well. Okay. Didn't know that one. Uh, next time you hit a creature with a melee weapon. Uh, so, as you come in with advantage, you're two-handed. Damage. Uh, let's hold your advantage. Schwing Schwang, an 18 for 6, does... Hit to my knowledge. 18 does hit for the six. And then the creature here. So uh let's see. Collision with white hot intensity, do one d6 fire damage to the target and cause it to ignite in flames. Start of each of this turn. The spell goes out. Must make a con save on a field save, it takes one d6 oh, damage. So yeah, it takes no. one d6. What? Oh no. 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 Could could no, we go back to the thunderous? That, that's a mistake on my part for not knowing the spell. Spells bust now. I've kind of read it out, so... Go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's alright. I'll, I'll be, I'll be I'll honest. I'll be honest. You do... So you do six slash, okay? And then a further six fire for twelve. Hey, I... Uh, ooh. 
I hope that thing wants to fight me now. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, you think it's going to burn through its ropes? Yeah, th that's what I realized halfway through. Uh... I did not think that Searing Smite would have fire, but that's pretty, um, pretty standard now that I think about it. But I gotta live with my mistakes, so I'm hoping it wants to go after me and me only. Uh, it doesn't say about the flame actually... Sorry, it doesn't say about the flame passing, if that makes sense. It's like, it ignites the target, but... Like how Firebolt says it's go it'll ignite other things, this doesn't say it'll ignite. So uh, okay. I deal with it that it's not burning the rope through as a result, so you don't need to worry. <coughs> like fairy fire. But, yeah. Thank you for that. Very selective fire. Very fucking lenient. <laughs> hey, do anything else your turn? No, that's it. Baralis. Okay. So if I've been given the go-ahead by Bernard, if I'm allowed to attack them, then I will. Uh, yeah. So, uh, well, here we go. You have advantage, remember. Yeah, and I get to have two attacks as well, because my first attack. Exactly. Yes, yeah. Both of them would be at advantage. Man, remember, he's mm -hmm. Glimstalker. Both of them would be at advantage as well. Alright. So hold shift when you make the attack, and it should roll with advantage. A 15 does hit. Or 9. Nice. Hit something. He's not going to be a farmer no more, boys. Yeah. Hey, farmer hit Alice. Somebody. Yep. Well, I guess I'll do the same again, right? Uh, Let's see. 22 for 8 also hits. Is he going to fire that off? Does he gonna... Got his first kill, guys. Well, guys. <laughs> Uh, doing anything else with your turn? You do have technically 40 foot of movement this turn. Get a little bit closer to the next one. So I'll, I'll go next yeah. to this tree. Oh, wait. What way? Let's... There. Boom. Here we go. Did anything else your turn, man? No. All good. Let me just check something as well, real quick, for it. Um, I don't think Fane is. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Renard. Alright, uh, let's just... I can't see the third draconium, but I'm going to go find him. This one's taken care of. He's in... Let's go this way. Uh, ah, didn't make it. Yeah. That way. You see this absolutely my... stunned Ooh. beast. A 24-8 will hit as you... It sticks in. Did anything else you're done? Uh. Okay, then. Nope. As we are now out of surprise, um, it's not that it really matters in the end of it. We'll be done before this loops. Oh, no, we still need the forest. Tranquility is but a myth. Fane up one draconian already down, the other one tied up, being wailed upon by Bryn running past Renard to this ugly looking motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, Fane's gonna take a stance. Oh. Oh. Right, so let's play the. Oh, that lagged. Let's see. 18 for 11 hits as you 1 1. A 17 for 8 also hits. And then your constitution saving throw. You watch Makes that. Make that. Oh, okay. I was going to make that all a uh, acid damage, but is he dead? Yeah. And you're going to watch as he goes. You can just stand there as you watch as. I need a constitution saving throw from yourself. Me? Yep, yep. And only. Okay. You. This man just walked up and three-piece somebody, and he just <laughs> fell backwards. <laughs> just ran up out of fucking nowhere after running into a tree, ran over here, and just meek, meek, meek. 
You just wait and just wait until I get a uh, extra attack. I'm gonna be able to attack six times in one turn. <laughs> I thought how fucking hilarious it would be to watch all this. Like you just ran up the tree, tied somebody up, pulled them down, Fate. rushed oh. over there. He was like, "Huh? What the?" F con save. Uh, oh, he said con save. Yeah, but sorry. My bad. As you all watch this thing stand, and you watch as Fane, you... <gasps> and you all watch as Fane seems to just turn to stone. Oh. Oh, shit. Love that. Mm. Draconian back here, spitting and screaming all manner of blue murder. What you rolls and frills, but no, it's still bound. Exodus. Uh. So I see a mofo turned to stone, and that's not good. I just for correction, that's uh this guy, right? Or is that over here? Uh. Yeah. Over here, pain is stone. So I'm like, early flesh. oh shit, pulls out, uh, sword sword, or no, rapier, and goes to, uh, going for the, the hit. Sorry, it's, it, the thing's still on my, uh. I'll sort it for you later on, don't just keep your sheet up. No, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm just, um. I'm just ex trying to explain to you why it's taking a little bit longer for me to. There you go. <laughs> uh -oh. 21 for 7 will hit. I, I do also have sneak attack. Let me go to features. Does restrained give you that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yep. No, no, it does. Uh, restrained creature, uh, you have advantage. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. So <laughs> it's restrained right now. So you have advantage seven four nine for sixteen. Uh, Whale on this motherfucker. All right, do you want me to? Uh, yeah, do you want me to roll the vantage? Uh, yeah, you can crit that shot on you go. I mean, yeah. So after stabbing him, uh, if he's still is he still alive? Still alive. So spitting absolute poison in his words, cursing you all names under the sun. He would try to hold him as a hostage and use him as like a human gym, but that would be a grapple check. It'd be a grapple, right? which would be a, uh, an action which you've already used for your attack. Right, I guess I would just use my the rest of my movement to just position myself behind him. Alright, yeah. You can just walk through him. You just walk through him right. safety, but yeah. Boom, boom. Cool. I'll move it over. Bring. Oh yeah, this guy also has to make a constitution saving throw as well. One secondo. Uh, does he pass the DC? Meets it, beats it. So he takes. He still takes some additional fire damage. Successful save. Oh, on a successful save, the spell ends. Well, all right. So, it's time to turn. Um, must make a successful constitution save and throw in a field save. He takes one d6 damage on a successful save. The spell ends. Okay, um, and so he's taking that extra damage, he's also no longer on fire, that is the weirdest smite I've ever read by the way, but yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Brent, what he wished to do is he's lying there, you know, mm, still what, tied. What, what spells do I have again? What, what? What spells do I have again? Bless, cure, wind, smearing, smite. Okay, okay, okay. Also there's armor of Agathus and command. Mm. I want to hit him again. Alright. You know, pop shots. On the ground, you give him a 1 2 screw. 25. Or mm. you're technically, I need to change your damage. So 25, not 20, first and foremost. And then you are slash R 1D 10 plus 3. 
for five plus another it's for six damage you have to manually re-roll that so you're gonna bring it down you all hear a bone curdling crunch sorry one two uh, i rolled it as the draconian <laughs> but yeah did anyone else your turn there my friend um hmm i think i no no that's enough that's enough the one, one crit is enough just respect Morales, you're gonna hear the crashing and splitting from the back of the tree to your end. Oh. Wait, where where is this? Is he still? That's like the old days. They're still the guy that's tied up. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Beat him up for me. You no. Are oh, he's still uh, tied up? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> how many how much feet have I used? It's too uh, much, you, isn't it? I'll see I'll see you can get next to Exodus. I'll see you can get next to Exodus because yeah, technically yeah. Actually you can technically I'll get back next to Exodus. However, I will All say right. a ranged attack at this is at disadvantage and even if you were further <laughs> away lying down uh for it, you would technically just be attacking straight as opposed to with advantage, unless you used your short sword to give him a little Stabby stab. Long sword. I've got a long sword. You have a long sword, fuck me. Yeah, so I'll. Is it. It costs one action to switch? Nope, you technically just drop the bone as part of the action, pull out the sword to stab. This means you drop the bow on the ground and then it's an action to pick that bow up. Alright, okay. Really and then I'll, I'll attack him with a long sword. Yep. Uh, Which is at advantage because he is restrained, so once again, hold shift. Shift. Yeah, does not have item name longsword. Yes, I do. Where is it when? You do. Yep. So don't mop your sheet. It's draconian longsword you've got. Probably because I changed the name of it. Uh. Alright, shift. Eight. 10 will miss, however. Let's check in these bad boys. They are versatile, but they're not finesse. So yeah, strength based weapon, you bring it in, bring it down, but just misses as it starts laughing at you. Don't else your turn? No, that's it. Cool. Nard. <laughs> Fuck that guy. A 16, I'll double check. A 16 does hit for 4. Just gonna bring 15. it in and down. 15, yep, sorry, my bad if you bring it in and down. Um, it dies. I also require all y'all to make for me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> That's funny. Run. Ugh. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Use all take five acid damage. Is he draconian? Damn near fucking explodes when it dies. Kicking use in acid. For a minute, there you did that actually. But yeah, as that is technically the end of the combat and the initiative on here, I am going to say just for the final thing, mm. I once again require, require that constitution saving throw from yourself. For sure. Uh, from all of us, or just from Fane, uh, she's gonna watch as Fane just starts to right. and drops down. You're gonna come back to Fane from your solidified state. You know, it's just everyone is just dripping in acid. He goes, <laughs> oh, at least I missed that. Boy. 
Mm. He's just gonna lay down on the ground. What? Stand in this clearing in the forest, this makeshift camp. He's here. <coughs> the fan yep. just looks looks up and looks over. Mm. <laughs> no, let's see this. A younger gentleman, even though it's a woman, I okay, twenty twenty three y'all. Who's this younger woman? Man. Tied to the tree. Yes, um. That was. We was taken by surprise. Check on the one on the ground. Is he dead, dead? Or just mostly dead? Long gone, dead, dead. Dead, 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 dead. Only thing bringing this poor man back would be a wish spell. One on the tree. Hmm? What kind of shape is the one tied to the tree after I untie her, him, she, he, them, oh. they? <laughs> uh, they? They look alright. Uh, uh, surprisingly, they have uh, not been made snacks just yet. It's the, you know, look. We've been tracking the armies for some time um the army split up about a week ago and we've been trying to get this information out and it turns out the contingency split again and steam rolled over to us there's a few broken up across Hinterland and Nightland and they seem to be slowly forming a ring around the city. They intend to keep Calaman away from Melgoth and Calanthus to the west. They certainly uh, they want to take the cities one at a time by the looks of it, and, well, make sure nothing gets in or out bar them. They have a way of cutting them off from the sea? Have you seen or heard? Nothing yet, no, but who's to say what's coming from... Get my fucking map out. Who's to say what's coming from the south and the west? What? West. West. Let's go here real quick. Nope, let's go here real quick. Yeah. They may have some coming from Dragard Keep. He's back, baby. And. All right. We're unsure what's coming from North Shore, but there are talk of some traveling north, and there may already be some by Alanthus if the armies have breached Qualinesti already. That's all we really have at the moment. Not much else. Oh, all right. Let's get you back to Calaman. You can report what you found to the governor. Yes. Try radio in. We out of range for the radio. Sorry, the oh. far, far gab. The coordinates really have me fucked on it here. 20 miles northwest and then something east would be like... Hmm. No! No, you'd, you'd be in range. 20 miles northwest and then heading east. It's technically a half Z. Yeah. 
Motherfucker's still got me thinking with triangles. That's at your <laughs> range. We'll call it in, tell her we've located the missing scouts. What we ran into, one is dead. We're bringing both back home. Yeah, pretty much over. Uh, yes. We should make preparations. Thank you very much for your work. We shall see you soon. Derrett. Okay. Alright. Once more. So wanna... Oh, before we leave the site... Mm -hmm. what, what was... What, what were their names again? Draconics? Dracons? Draconians. 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 The Draconian that me and Renard killed. Hmm? That petrified me. I don't... What's up with them? They always, they always have an effect when they die. Or they Seems have like no effect when they die. I've been trying to keep track of what's doing what. Seems like the boss draconians, that mm -hmm. draconian. Did um petrifies you when you when it dies, and the one that flies, the other one, turns to acid. I have I don't think we've run into any other kinds yet. Excuse me, they do what? <laughs> Yeah. Turn to ask. I haven't been saw around happen. any of these things have like or well, any of the draconians have, have, have straight up died. Yeah, one died and blew acid all over you. Mm hmm That's the reason why you took mm. four acid damage. That that is the kind of uh good morning spa facial I need in the morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Did the did the draconians even get a chance to actually attack us? Nope. nope. And yet, <laughs> some, and yet somehow, somehow they managed to do more damage overall than they probably would have had they attacked. That's crazy. Well, party members here has probably no use of Can I? Can I, uh, hmm? can I give those draconians a brisk pat down? Two turned to ash, and the other one blew up into acid there is nothing to check never mind i got some ashes oh so we don't have we don't have proof of them that's crazy you don't what we don't have proof of them I'm, imagine Ooh. imagine finding a cryptid and whenever like you kill it or something like that it turns to ash i'd be so mad Because now you don't have proof that you actually went through that. I mean, such as the nature of cryptids and things like that, you know, would be out of the question. Yeah. Mm. But, um, I, I, I wanted to run it by, um, you, Mr. DM, the, uh, the plan I was thinking about with, um, with that perfume and that, uh, and that, uh, excuse me, um, what do you call that? Deer musk or something? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay, so depending on what we're going up against, whether they're, you know, if it's somebody expecting humans, I'd like us all to have like a rag with a little, just, just, just a little bit as like a, like a, like as, a, as of a personal scent. You're wearing it on your person. Each of us to have a rag of that sort and then carry extra objects that we could all. with more bestial aspects. I was hoping that something like that would work at some point against someone, but the tricky part is when to decide to prepare that on a on a mission. My friend, I need you to repeat that because my Discord just crashed. Oh my bad. I, I, I got I got some I got some of it. You wanna get me like use the D use like the, the musk and such in order to mask your scent. Um yep. Not just mask, but to, I guess, more... It could be masking, it could be confusing our presence, uh, it could be, um, or... Well, uh, 
the best thing I was hoping for to use it for for a situation where um something that may maybe not hunt solely by scent, but just it its height sense of smell is tightened over mine yeah. just enough to the point where it's a factor that there are several things out in the woods that smell the same and you don't know I, which ones are the real people. I would say if you if the, you were coming up against something like that, then yeah, that would give you advantage on like a, a stealth check or such if you were coming up against something like that. Uh, currently from you know what what you can ascertain, these guys are definitely sight based. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, worth a shot. I'll keep it on my person anyway. Yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. So, if we are all done at the small encampment here, we shall round on through. As you are walking one by, down once more with your amazing, amazing horses passing on through. You once more hear a buzz from the bar gap. Calaman, six miles west. Small potential training camp. Feel free to check it out on way back. Governor Myatt. Is it? Let's say it once more. Okay, we got enough horses to send the uh, the scout in the body back? Or do we... Uh... There are not enough horses. Unless you swear to sacrifice horses, give them it, and then in turn spend the night camping. I give a... <laughs> I'm going to give them away my horse. I'm going to say make it to uh, Calaman. Safe. Alright. Yep. Or we can double up. You're like... Yeah. I, uh, uh, I'm going right. to hop on Renard's horse. Alright. <laughs> we'll, radio, we'll radio back. Say... Missing Scout returning... We're diverting to the training camp. Yeah. If everybody's good with that. 25 words is actually a lot when you're improv, and not so much when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The big blue moose went down to the barn and got himself a cup of coffee, as well as some blue cheese and I think you went over <laughs> yeah no nah, I'm, st I'm still within 25 I'm, I'm counting here's <laughs> <laughs> you you're back on the radio it's once I have like two words left <laughs> big hat he got himself some coffee blue Receive. cheese and a big hat Received. Oh, we'll, no, await, no, no. we'll await your report. Governor Might. And as you divert your path, heading onwards like the end of that one Fast and the Furious movie. Sorry. I'll say Fast and Furious. Ah! Oh. <laughs> He's not a fan, guys. He's not a fan. Alright. use eventually after a fair bit of time it is quite dark out by the time you get to this place you come to a small little ramshackle of a cabin in the middle of nowhere are there, are there lights on? I'm changing the map to stay my friend. Thank you, sir. Whilst you are passing on by, you notice at the back hobgoblins 
all things. He's just minding his own business. Did you hear the distinct barkings of a man? You'll be fit for the Dragon Queen's army in no time. Keep it up. Wait. I don't ask you. I don't. I don't say that. I don't say that. I'm just thinking. Sorry. We have uh, Boralus and Fane split up and scout each mm. direction. Fane go south. Boralus go east. Okay. I'm gonna go down this way. How dark is it? Can we, how far can we see them away so they can hand signal the work? I can see more right here. Uh, I see what Fane is seeing. Fane doesn't quite see much from where he is. I see a little sliver of a hobgoblin. I see two hobgoblins. Browse is you gonna move up to the tree. You you have this weird line of sight the house. You see a small candle flickering in the back of one room. A wall and what may be a door. As you do, you watch as the shadows in the room with the light. You see one constantly moving, a rather burly creature in the shadow. As to what that creature actually is, it could be a person, it could be draconian, it could be a kender, for all you know. I a question. How many of you? What do you see? Anything? I just kind of shrug back at you because I don't know what I'm looking at. Right. Now. And Fane saw two. Let's move yeah. around to the two move around now. that direction. Michael Abbott's. Hey, Bryn, I can join. Nickel Slicker Music. Does not work. You want to join that uh, Aralis over there, and I'll go with Fane. Best circle thing. around back to this place. I'm a sneakle snunk on over there. <laughs> I'm looking for some sneakle second music just now. I don't have sneakle second music. Uh, I should have. Are you looking at your DMs? You just like me for them. DMs. Mm -hmm. He's just like me for real. Fane, oh, you a, move. A dick. You, oh, the worst, you said this to me before with an exact state, statement, and you know what I've said to you. <laughs> Exodus, Bren, do you wish to move anywhere? Do anything? Um, yeah. I will gonna... meet, back, meet up with the party. Bren, where are you going? Gonna... With uh, um, Brass. <clears throat> oh, the stinky stinky got crippy crippy. Uh, oh, get over. Is there a fence in our way? Motherfucker, I gotta what climb this. this? It's in my just, gotta, way. just gotta hop it, man. Uh, hop it. That which they don't is hop in this your is where way. you're from. Uh, for yourself, Boralus, as you look through there, you see here a sort of hay storage, like a barn open on all sides. Just get a brief overview. You can see two, four hobgoblins fighting. He's all once more here, Bart. This is it. Final test for the Dragon Army. The voice is very distinctly human. You is here in the corner. It is a rather bushy 
corner, if you will. The fence is only about waist high, but would require a bit of a stealthy check to go over without brustling those bushes. Alright. Tell those bushes here was in front of me. Uh, uh, four those two can get over it. Oh, um, you know something, Brawls? I think you can technically walk through that. I can't, because uh, it's all shadowed off for me. But I think you can walk through it. Uh... I described an open barn. I want me to do a stealth check first. Well, you would be heavily obscured in a barn. You're not passing through trees uh... like these guys. Uh... See, so, yeah, I will quickly <laughs> remove, uh, not this side here. Oh, Jesus. If, um... For yourself, give me a sec. If there was a way to avoid the self-check, right? For our more clunky party members. And say they ended up right here behind the tree. This area right here. Would they be seen? Mm, I wouldn't. No, I, I would class the tree. I would class the tree. Yeah, it's like full cover, just for the benefit of it here. Okay. Through an arc, you, you're gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I touch Renard, and he you... teleports. Hold on. Did you class yourself a spring? Yeah, I, I'm spring today. I think spring does the. I'm far teleport. Well, uh, face step, touch one willing creature within five foot of you, and that creature teleports instead of you to an occupied space within thirty foot. Oh, sweet! No stealth check. Yes, is you just and end up on the other side of this yard. Noise. Bro. Oh, it's gonna. It said <laughs> it's making me touch anywhere around there now. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna use both of them because why not? Oh wait, I can't do that. You can, they're both classed as bonus actions. Can I still use a normal face step? Oh, uh, good question. Ah, uh, good question. That's um, up to you. Because I don't know if it's you change that you can't do a normal face step to... Because if it's not, I can just just as easily so, switch with. So yeah, so like you can normal face step, mm -hmm. and then you can. In addition, that's how I'm reading this. As a bonus action, you can magically teleport. Blah blah blah. Uh, when you reach third level face step, you gain an additional effect based upon your season. So your okay. additional effect was you face stepped, you slapped but Renard's ass, and went like, mm, and Renard went, poof. And then you went, you know what? I'm gonna join you. So yeah, I just, I'll burn the other use of it for you since you've used both. There you go, man. Thank you. So yeah. Uh, what did it do? Exodus. Exodus. Is it Sorry about that. I was, I was taking my dog out. Um, let me... Uh, I guess I'll follow them. You want a uh, dexterity or a stealth? You said. Yeah, stealth. Dex dexterity is stealth. But stealth to get through the uh, ba -ba 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 the bushes, trees, over the fence without making too much noise. All right. That's my dex check. So you mm -hmm. Climb over. Everyone is innately aware, as you all hear the. Without the wind. He just goes, What? You all. Kind of. Watch. Listen carefully. As the noise stops. Bralis and Bryn, use of 
been in a you've been in this barn a bit long Let's get back to you real quick you uh you feel confident about taking on two at once we we, we can do if, if we get prepared to set up stuff i could hide behind these bales that are in front of me and use my bow the question is how are the others doing on the other side and will this in some way interfere with what they have going on but you know we may not be able to you know radio them but you know what do you think we should do Please. you've been with them a bit longer than i have then i say we don't do anything until they do so you then hear the loud rustling bushes before the hobgoblins and such stop the sparring that they are doing So the hobgoblins stop sparring because they heard a loud noise. Are they moving in any direction? They all look off somewhere that you can't quite see, but towards the porch. Just hmm. like they all look. I want to see if they make a move towards, you know, or rather if the ones that we see indicate that they're going to go investigate what that is. Oh, let's wait a moment. Bernard, Finn, you hear the distinct sound of heavy boots on wood. Akin to that old timey <laughs> western where they walk straight out of the saloon and. <laughs> I got references for everything, everybody. I'm here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I hide on my turn still? <laughs> yeah, you can try hide in the stealth uh, in the bushes. I say Sweet. everyone is akin to be able to try and hide if they wish. Yeah, I'm not one for hiding. You guys hide. I'm gonna draw their no. attention. Hiding, so he just goes dump <laughs> over here. Intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> You, you hear the false other one say, there's a young maiden changing over here, you wouldn't dare come look. They would they would come look. They're gonna rush over here. They look a little distinguished and, and respectful to me. Oh, uh, just because they're in uniform. So, I mean, that fucking uh that fucking badge has gotta mean something. Stand there for something. You all hear this but this as with every step, you also hear a third. Is All right, I'm not hiding from my sworn enemies. Is there Someone's... someone there? Yeah, um, he faints in an X. Renard, if we just want to. Go ahead and check them out. Step out here. Yeah. I'm gonna step right here. He's the... He's a gentleman. The... Shield in one hand. There's long sword in the other and you see on the wood this rather odd shape. If you watch this smoke slowly rises from it. All the hobgoblins turn their attention. Well, we have here some guests. Will you be pledging your allegiance to the Kisses and the Red Dragon Army, or will you be joining the homeowners. I just look at him and say, this is your last, your only chance to surrender. Otherwise, be prepared to die. 
he looks. He draws his attention back to you. My good sir. Can't you see you're outmatched three to one? No, wait. Four to one. Let's see. Let's see. Grimace and smile. Give you one more chance. Well, Join if you think us you're... or the homeowners. If you think we're alone, you're mistaken. I will not join. Are you, you sure you're not alone? <laughs> I hope I'm not alone. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Oh, Fane and I'll take him. We're not. You watch this. His hand goes up. Draw my sword. Oh. oh. I want to run out of the barn. To the other side of these people. Did you want to? What? You want to run out of the barn specifically, Brent? Yes, does me specifically. Okay, to... so I'm going to move you to here right now, just so you can see. Okay. Um, where are you moving to? Um... Um, ten more feet forward, and that's about it. Okay. And you're running, uh... you're running straight out. You're trying to stealth it. What's the uh, I want to kind of stealth it until I see, um, I guess, uh, Renard and Fane, and then I want to um, try to gauge the situation and see what's going on. Nope. A 22 in your stealth is this conversation is going on, Renard and Fane. Disadvantage. Yep, disadvantage is where I'm trained. I would technically have called it advantage for normal, but if you want it like that. You know, everyone is their back turned, but as they do. Uh, I've got like 60, I've got like 60, 20 here. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so they blissfully unaware. Even with the 14, everyone is blissfully unaware that you have just walked to everyone bar your friends is blissfully unaware that Bren has just walked out to the other end of this field. I want to try to maintain eye contact with them and then slow, like, like with, my, with my teammates on the other side and then look at them and while looking at them, motion towards putting a hand near my weapon and look like, are, are we doing this? What are we doing? Okay. He's all watches. <laughs> This is going on, his hand is coming up, his friend's hand is slowly, unsurely, making its way towards our battle axe. I draw my sword, look at the commander, or what, whoever the guy is talking, and say, last chance to surrender. His hand is... Can I get my bow? Yep. Or rather, at least reaching towards the bow without taking it out. Yeah, we'll be hands back here. Bar Baralis and Exodus both hiding flanked on the other side of the the house right now. One on one side in the bushes, one in here. What's the plan? What's the game? I uh, would just be hiding behind the these what are they bar hay bales. Yeah. With my bow ready. So are you ready in an action, or are you just... Because you can ready an action with conditions, so if those conditions are met, you immediately fire. Huh. As complex sure. D&D &D that is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Some of that advanced shit they talk about. Yeah, my brain just melted a little bit. Yeah, okay. Brain melted. Something else of mine melted. <laughs> it's like you are... Readying an arrow to fire under what condition? Uh, the... What are they called? Goblins? Hobgoblin. Hobgoblins, uh, try and attack. Or the first sign of... Yeah, them. Yep, yep. Yeah. So you're watching. Ready the arrow. Exodus? 
Uh, I would like to use Minor Illusion to create the sound of a army marching to give uh, the guy talking to the recruitment guy advantage on a intimidation check. Okay. If if that is something that sounds reasonable. Um, does Minor Illusion, because that's all I got set amount. I'll populate it. That's good to go on that. I would say, uh, is it not within what you can see? Because I think it's within like five foot or something. Create a sound, volume, range from a whisper to a scream. Okay, voice someone else, lion's roar, beating of drums, kill, kill. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do that. So you can uh, pop that off from where you are, having heard what's going on. Uh, you know, if Renard wishes to make any form of check in that regard for intimidation, he can. As this man's hand oh, yeah. is clearly up at that point there. Is you're gonna hear the. So it does. He kinda looks at you. How about as it is then? Just drops and points. Sit it on. Uh, 18. So 18... 18 what? Um, oh. Wisdom. Insight. Wisdom is the word I'm looking for. Oh, but your intimidation uh, was a 15. Mm -hmm. You've got advantage. Hold on. Yeah. You've got advantage. I was in the 15 and I heard the word advantage and I still fucked it. Yeah, didn't yep. matter. <laughs> Alright. For everyone else, uh, I will say, Brit. You know, Boralis, as you have watched as this is about to buck on over, everyone else, roll initiative. I want to say... Should I have to do it? Uh, so, uh, because now in, this is starting, once everyone's rolled in, your shot will immediately go off at whichever one you want. And if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh my lord. Can't believe they all were rolled worse than I did. Nah, they rolled <laughs> fucking horribly. I they rolled didn't. bad and they, they rolled horrible. It just rolled and didn't let me add my stuff to it for some reason. So you're adding a three? Yeah, I'm adding a plus two actually. Hold if, on, uh, I'm gonna keep a hold of this if, number just now. Oh, fucking hell. All right. If we're all able to uh, add whatever um, plus numbers we'd like, I, I I think I could use a plus 11 to something. Uh, see, so you initially got a... You should have been a 19, okay? Should have been a okay. 19, but you're currently a 2. I'm gonna remove you and try myself, okay? Don't worry. I'll set it directly to 19, so you should have... So your situational bonus, um, let's say, I'm going to try public roll. Type in plus two. So when you're rolling it in the situational bonus, type in plus and then two. Right, no, it didn't give me the option that time. So it's what I meant. Let's see, uh, Bras, just need you to roll an initiative and we're good to go. This ain't even gonna be a fucking fair fight, man. These are all before them. This is split initiative. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. This is... So, uh... Exodus. Not the Exodus. Um, b -b 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 Baralis. Out of all the hobgoblins you can see, uh, pick one. And fire off an arrow. Uh, at advantage, because it was not paying attention, you were technically hidden for that. Good natural, but stealth. A 13 on a hobgoblin does, however, miss. They have a high AC, to be fair. So you, mm. you all watch as the arrow comes flying in from the back end. Exodus! First up, hiding in the trees. 
I am a tree. Um, I can see this guy. Uh huh. Is that uh, that's the guy who's talking right? the dragon army soldier? Nope. That's what your mind believes him to be. I mean, I would have seen him talking if. I mean, you would have seen talking. However, he is also, you know, with this tree. I class that tree as full cover for the two people hiding behind it. Ah. Alright, then I will move... Here. And I would go to shoot... This guy? Actually, no, no. Uh, this one. Yep. Uh, just like that. 1843 does hit. You. Three right into him. Did anyone else read him? Yeah, give me one second. I'm trying to figure out how. Uh, I will bonus action. Uh, dash, uh, back a bit because this this is a mess. Right. I'm liking it. All right, that'll be my turn. Bren, reaching for the long boys, you pull it out. Target rich environment. Only the one. That is, uh, well, I guess you would say down from me. The one that would be the right nut. I'm firing at that one. <laughs> this one here? The right nut. Yep, that one. Kill. Cool. So what is he? Bren with the... Goes into her bag, and she does. Pulls out her final arrow. Eight for five will, unfortunately, miss. Well... Bow's useless now without her final arrow. Yep. Then I know it's your turn. I'm gonna drop I'ma drop the bow and get ready to rumble. Besides that, just uh two handed or one yeah. and one? Yeah. Well turn turn ended as long as um as long as it is uh more than the actions I have left to uh drop and ready my my weapons. Okay. Fade. Alright. Thing is going to take a low stance and go ahead and as he passes uh, Renard, a little bit of extra protection if you don't mind. And he's going to go for the commander. Yep. He's uh, effectively asking uh, Renard for shield of faith if he does not mind. Zero, let's yep, play the numbers sure, game. Here, um, well, you wouldn't, know the face you wouldn't actually know cleric, uh, those the spell's names for that. Is that a yes. clerical deity spell? Um, I would so ask for a little bit. Way back. Let's see. So I cast it on him before, so he would know that I have the ability to provide ah, him with extra yeah. protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, you'd already That's cast it, or I've clearly forgotten. Yeah, he's already cast it on me. On the 18 hits, did anyone else your turn? No, that's all. Okay, 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 all. Let's move it over Boralis. First time, you two attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm able to run Hail of Thorns as well. Is that first or after I've done my attacks? You can Hail of Thorns and then do your attacks, yeah? Okay. Nice, I like that one. Out of character. Um, oh, man. 22 for 9 will, uh, 22 for 8 will hit, plus he must make a dex save for 12, so he takes 8 plus half, which is 12. Got to roll. Roll. Half of the 9. Which is right. 4. Yeah, 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah, you're right. Nah. You watch this. Fires it off as the arrow comes in and then... As you watch this 
I think it's it. open gets fucking minced. Thing is, everything within five feet for the hail of thorns. Is that right? Um. Let's see, pull this uh, hail of thorns yeah. from your target weapon, and you know, then five feet. Yeah, this is one. Watch as the first one gets turned into fucking mincemeat, as the second one fails. You can all watch as it becomes a pin cushion, essentially. He also looking no bueno at this point on. You still have one more attack and 45 yeah. You can attack the same one or you can attack an R1, your choice. I'll attack the one that's already been hit there, so... 18 for a 5 will hit and he, gets to, he has to make that save again, don't he? Yeah. I don't know if it's worth making that save again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, either way. 9 damage on a guy that hit 2. He's going to watch as this other one's get torn to shreds and ribbons. Did anyone else your turn? No. I'm going to keep a tally mark of your arrows now that you should be getting back. Because people don't seem to be adding their half arrows. <laughs> you said people don't seem to be adding their what? Renard, every time you fire, for every two shots, you get one arrow back. You get half your arrows mm -hmm. back. That's why oh, you're out also, of arrows. You ain't picking up your arrows. You said you said my my last arrow. I've only I don't think I've fired an arrow so far until now. Then why in the fuck did you have one arrow? I don't know. I I, I thought you just took some. I thought you just said that because you were taking some off because I was hunting. Like I thought that you were just doing a passive thing, so I just went with it. No. Uh, but a thing, you get your shield of faith, your plus two to AC. Mm -hmm. Or not. What else you done? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go up here and attack that son of a gun. Right there. 14 for 8 will miss. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to declare... Um, What is it? Damn it. Precise strike before or after? Say strike. Um, oh, this is part of your thing, isn't it? Squire of Salamnia. Uh, once per turn, when you make a weapon attack roll against a creature, you can cause it to have advantage. If it hits, roll a d8 and add the number rolled. Uh, I'll say for future, yes, but right now I'll give you it. Alright. We'll do that so that guards into. Uh, I've given you advantage. actually a separate one. I've given you a separate one on your sheet as well that you can actually burn from under your channel divinities. Okay, so now it's a 19 for 8. 19 for 11. And 11 will hit. Is he going to bring it in down and fuck this one up? Better not answer your turn, my man. Oh, do, 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 do. Nope. Nope. Okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna move. Well, let me move. Let's oh, yeah. oh, move. Oh, and I'll move there. What the hell? I made my own card. Playing cards. Huh? All right, that's it. The dragon army soldier he will well take his long sword as he does well just fire both straight into fane for that absolute disrespect of stepping to him like that and both will completely fucking miss 10 and 6 i oh, know well, yeah that's 10 and 6 hobgoblin i need to figure out which one of this is this hobgoblin here at the back well okay let's see um this one yep um we check him once per turn, can deal. Kill. Okay. Watch as the Hobgoblin pulls out his little longbow, and as he does, fires on off towards Boralus. A 10 will completely fucking miss. The next one here that you have slept on. Well. 
move on up to your cell. And as it does, takes his longsword and swings it yourself for an art. A 5 for 6 misses. Bob Goblin is really high AC, really shit hit. So the final Hobgoblin here will take a turn towards Bren with the Lombo and fire the Lombo. 14 for 5 will miss. Back top around Exodus. Isn't it, wait, is AC meets it beats it? Yeah, but your AC is 16. Oh uh, no, I don't have my shield equipped right now. Yeah, so your AC is 16. I thought with my shield equipped it was... Oh! Your shield equipped is 18 because your armor gives you de uh, 14... Plus. I was going off of this session. I thought I had re-equipped it back uh, back before I left last session. Never mind. That's mine. That's my bad. That's your armor plus your dex gives you 16, and then your shield gives you a plus 2. I thought 16 was my base. I was like, when did that happen? Oh, well. Exodus. I will shoot uh, the commander. Alright. A 14 to the commander misses. Alright, let me subtract my arrow real quick. Oh, I automatically did it. Alright. And then I'll move back. Alright. With a bonus action dash. Yeah, yeah. My turn. Brent. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um... It's the battlefield as it is, and this is you over here. I'm gonna run and take a swing at the left nut. <laughs> she watches this spunky little kender with her battle axe in one or two hands. Two. Spunky little kender with a battle axe in two hands screams running down towards the hobgoblin. Nat 20. That's what I like. Oh, fuck. I don't want your fucking sheet. I want to go back to here so I can make that a nice. 25 so now I need to do. You are 1d10. Plus 3. Four. Oh, really? Really, motherfucker? Really, even after I said don't. So you got 11 plus an additional d10 for your. 17 damage. Fuck me. Absolutely brutalizes this. He's gonna watch you run in screaming and just whoosh, bisect the fucking hobgoblin. I don't have it. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have um uh, an extra attack in that. So I'm, for now, I'm just gonna end my turn looking towards the other goblin and trying to look as crazy as I can. Is it? I'm just making sure you have. Because I know sometimes with something. So. Come. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay. He's going to turn around covered in blood, staring at the other hobgoblins. Just... He ain't looking too good. Finn! <laughs> good talk! I've always done a relationship for your uh, verbal skills and communication. <laughs> Forgot I was doing it. But Fane says that Nat 20 looks nice and he would like to try that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the 20. Was that 3 or 2? That was 3. The <laughs> same. 13 will miss, 15 will miss, the 24 fall will hit. Mama always said, life is like a box of rat fists. Do you know what you're talking about? Life is like a box of rat fists? Right fists. I meant to say right hooks and fuck that. I thought, like, I was about to say, what the hell are you doing with rat paws? My friend, I was not dropped as a child. I was fucking rugby tackled. <laughs> um. Before before you deduct health, I would like to say that last one actually does not hit. Because I didn't even mean to put it out there. That would have been a, fl a flurry of blows, but, oh. you know. I'll put it back on then, or you can burn the flurry of blow. Nah. Skip. 
This man's too used to doing his flurry of blows, guys. I um, gave him one. I gave one guy one. Bralis? Uh, how high up is this platform next to me? Is it the it's, same level? You're probably looking at about maybe three inches, really. It's just a standard step. Right. And then I would go for this, this guy, and I would go for him. A Damn six much. or four will miss, unfortunately. To be fair though, that's like your first miss tonight. Yeah, <laughs> someone heard I was going to be a farmer and didn't like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're on a farm. Yeah, well, yeah, I might just be here. My, um, what a cruel world. <laughs> <laughs> Did it know your turn, man? Uh, no. Cool. Renard. Well, let's just... Take the long sword and run it through the sky center in front of me. Roll it. Miss. And miss. Other oh, effort, son of a. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ah, ah, ten, ten. Walla, walla, bing, bang. Did I announce your turn, man? Um. Nope. Yeah. That's it. Gonna whiff and whiff and whine. I love our little back and forths. Speaking of back and forths, Bane is gonna comes at you. Backhand of the sword and then front hand of the sword. Schwiggity schwaggity. Oh my goodness gracious me, Fane. So, 21 for double max damage, 14 plus crit, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 28. Double check you real quick. He almost one shot me. 28. You just watch as this comes in and Fane screaming bloody murder at this point. I was just checking, do you not have like, or is that like fifth level you get that, mate? Get what? Resistance to like some damage. I mean, let me see if I have resistance to fire as it is. See, that's what I'm thinking. The man's a fucking draconic monk. And I mean, uh, Tiernan, he was a... They're not all fire. What was that? So they're not all fire dragons. No, but you, yeah. know, that, you know that way Tiernan had the ability to pick what he was resistant to. <laughs> right, exactly. Based and this is from the same yeah. book. And that same book is from this world. My, my, my. How things just magically work. Uh, unarmed fighting, fighting initiate. Um, you take a look at that, Kate. If you don't find it, don't worry. I'll see if at some point you should get it and I'll notate it. And if you do find it, me look. just let me know. Uh, until then, I'm going to move quickly over to Hobgoblin. <laughs> it's standing next to yourself, Bernard. So Hobgoblin will make a solid attack to yourself. And 11 will miss. The backward asshole goblin will take a swing towards Bryn and will also miss and we'll move it top of the round once more to Exodus. Alright, second verse, same as the first. But we're on round three. I move here. Mm -hmm. The uh, Bryn over here getting ganged up on by those two, so I'll shoot. Uh, the one right next to them, the one uh, across. You know, the one right down, one down. All right. This one here is the only one that's alive. Ah, uh, then I'll shoot that one. Yep. Trying to, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to do it on my sheet. Give me a second. 13 will miss. And then I will bonus action dash back away. Sure. You do that, Bryn. We... Oh, don't worry, I go away. Right. Bryn. Oh, Bryn's not here. Fuck, right. Uh, crazy little Kendar will do crazy little Kendar things. And swing. Nine will miss. Pain. No looking, no bueno, no more. Covered in blood. Pain at Barney. Man in front of you. Mocking. Mm. 
I would like to note that all of my damage is acid. What did fuck? <laughs> mess, mess, pet. Um, and last hold one. Hold on. Going um, he gets, re so he gets resist. Said... He gets resistance at eleventh level. Hold on. You cannot make that second attack and use flurry of blows at the same time. They are both bonus actions. What? So you don't have extra attack, right? So no, I don't have it. So therefore, your second attack that you make is an offhand attack? Mm-hmm. Which is a bonus action. And then Flurry... No. Yeah. Flurry, flurry of Blows is my main action punch. Bonus action, Flurry of Blows gives me two more hits. That's what that is. Oh, there's the way you've the way you've done it. That's what I mean. Yeah, if I would have... If I would have rolled it four times, it would have been crazy. Yeah, no, that's completely on me. Because I'm so used to you doing two. Because... Um, yeah, so Flurry of Blows is essentially giving you one. Sorry, that's me. Uh, the 11th level, noted that uh, Fane will get resistance come the end of this campaign. Which is actually good for Fane. I was about to take an opportunity of attack and I stopped myself. Because <laughs> I forgot about that. What one is it again? It's the step of the wind, is it not? Yep. Mobile feet. Oh, yeah. Also, step of the wind is what lets you do your jump. Yeah, so just kind of walks away from it all. Did anyone else for your turn? No, that's it. Baralis. Hail of arrows. Hail of oh, oh, <laughs> All of it. Should still be active, yeah. Yep, uh, it's active it? yeah. for a minute, so ten rounds. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. I will. On him, a sixteen just misses. Like, why are you do this? Natalie, I died not on me. <laughs> Sorry, not on me. Did anyone else you talk? Okay, no. That's it, Bernard. All right. Well, I'm tired of this guy in front of me looking at me. So let's do away with him. Oh my gosh! We're not doing okay there, man. Yep. <laughs> Apparently, I've forgotten how to swing a sword. It's all right. He's gonna swing him once more. Like I said, these bastards, hobgoblins, hard to hit. Then it's your turn. Uh, da, 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 nope, nope. Okay. Nope. The dragon nope. army monsieur. What am I? Go. So you watch as he takes his long sword, and drops it from his back. You watch as he pulls two javelins. Does stand there on the patio looking. Steps off to the side. Just to get a clear look at it. As he does, then takes a step forward, lunging his first one into Renard, throwing the second one towards Fane. Renard. 13 mm -hmm. misses. Bane. Seven misses. He tries to get both off at the same time he's going to watch as the shh goes wide and the stab goes between you and the hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Gnarly looks. Shakes his, yeah. shakes his head. Pulls out his sword and swing towards himself. For that, uh, boo -boo -boo, you take nine damage, Renard. Just nine straight slash. No fire. What did he hit? Jeez, what did he get to hit? Uh, 21 plus nice. partial advantage. So, right. 1d8 plus 1 plus an additional 2d6. The one Okey next to... Dokey. One next to Bryn. Um, oh, Bryn's not here. Doesn't mean I'm not going to tie my luck. An 8. We're completely fucking missed, though. We'll move it over to Exodus once more. <coughs> I am the Doas. 
the Exodus. Let's go. Uh, I'll move here. No. I'll shoot at the commander because he's being spiked. Go. 23, 4, 11. Well, straight fuck him up. He's going to fire that. But wait. But wait, there's more. Uh, I have my uh, sneak attack. Doesn't matter. Oh, he died? He had nine health. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right. He's going to fire that. I'm going to watch it pass straight through. As it does, he's going to... Alright, bonus action dash. We My turn. End, end turn. Go. Oh. And then up next, it's Brenny Bren. Crazy little Kendar does crazy little Kendar things. 23, 4, 5. Well, swing as he's watching. just off in the background. She fucking shut up good. Ben. Fain, Fain, and. Gonna, gonna, right there, you know, you know, gonna, you know, and I'm gonna, you know, you. A twenty-two for eight will hit plus a twelve for nine will miss. So eight does in fact, boof, as you hit, and I'm going to, you know. <laughs> sure. Then I'll move over Bralis. First and foremost, can you make me a perception check? Okay. Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's so disappointing. <laughs> Yep. On the up hand, that could have been a 5 or an attack roll. Yeah, that is true. Let's try now. Ah? Ah? Alright. What? You want me to go? You just make your attack? Yeah, okay. 21 for 7. Uh, oh. Plus, it must make the dexterity saving throw. Plus, for an arm, oh, it must make so that dexterity saving throw. It's oh, too, sorry. Too d six, ain't it? Uh, John, two d six, yeah. Two d six. Yeah, the damage. Yeah. Oh no, it's actually. Uh, it's one d ten. So, uh, uh, brass in chat slash r one d ten. Slash, what do you say, 1d10? Slash R space 1d and then 10. Yep. You mean like type it out, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, this is not command. Wait, let me try again. No, it's not command. Hit the, the dice on the bottom, hit the d10 once. Uh, or you can do the d10 there as well, which is the fourth one in. And you just click it and then hit enter. So it's six. Additional six, and it's 13 on this one here as he dies, failing the save. Uh, you pass the save, however, Renard, so you will take this. Did it your turn, Uh, I give him, I give him a dirty look. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think just for that, uh, <laughs> Oh wait, I've used my action, haven't I? So yeah. I can't use another one. You used your action. Damn. Um, you haven't used your bonus action, however, as long as it's not a concentration thing, you're good. What are you thinking? Concentration. Oh, uh, cure wounds. Cure wounds is not concentration, but it is an action. Uh, there is a bonus action one, healing word, which is arguably better. Yeah, but, I don't have that though. That's uh, so a good thing. Anyway. Yeah. Did it your turn? No. Cool. And as you are there, you hear this thudding, this cracking and crashing, as it were. You watch 
as this draconian <laughs> squeezes out through the window. Looks round at you all. Smiles. Oh. Oh, for dinner. Or immediately takes a short sword and Schwang's both completely misses in the back of Boralus. Just straight up misses. Bernard. Uh, oh, oh, let's run up here. I'm gonna hit that son of a gun. First, I'm going to precise strike yeah, with yeah. that. I don't want to miss again. So you can 16 on this bad boy. Well, hit 11 for 3. 11 and 3. Sorry, it's 14. Yes. And. And smite 9. Oh, yep, nine, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, have a con save. He's going to. Uh. Oh, Abaralis, con save as well, please. You're good. These are both good. He's going to watch as the recording starts to turn to stone once more as it kind of. And then. Just crumbles in front of you. That was some fucking quick work. <laughs> Did I notice your turn, man? Um, nope, that's it. Use bonus action, action, movement. Yeah, I'm good. The Hobgoblin then. Well, take it as long as you're going to watch everything that's going on. The Red Dragon Army! 16 will actually hit poor Bryn, unfortunately, who is no longer here, but it's okay. Exodus. I will. Oh, I had to make sure I was not muted. All right, let me. Uh... Yep. I will move forward. Boop, boop, boop. I see that one more. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him. I think the short bow has that range. I think it's like 120. I think it's like 80 foot. Yeah, the short bow has that range. Alright. Also, uh, I think at 13 oh. doesn't hit. Uh, it doesn't, but that would also be at disadvantage. Alright. Uh, so yeah, then... 13 already fails. I'll move back then, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Yeah. Crazy little Kandar still screaming like a barbarian viking. Nine will miss. Uh, does she have anything else? I know she's got something here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> she's doing all kind of watches. Britain just starts hurling absolute fucking filth and disgust at this hobgoblin. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. And it's got to make a what save? So, uh, wisdom saving throw, okay. Yeah, it's gonna start hurling all manner of abuse at this poor guy. You know, looks. But her taunt has no effect. Ben. What do you want to do? Ben saw the whoop. Hello, buddy. If he's gonna walk, with us, go join his buddies over here. Um, nice stuff. Yeah, but Alice, is uh, 
<laughs> Halo Thorn still active? It is, but uh, you can cancel it freely if you wish. You just drop concentration. Wait, how do I do that? Just so you're dropping concentration. Just so I drop concentration, Hail of Thorns, and that's it. Oh, right. yeah, okay, I drop it. It's the energy. Um. There you go. I'm gonna use my bow on him. Yep. And a level for five will miss, unfortunately. Did anyone else? No. Renard. That's it. Done with him. When a four seven will clean it, is he gonna bring it in and clean house? Use do. Is this? Fucker dies. He's now stand in the middle of this field. Bodies galore all around. Do 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 do. With dun 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 pa. He. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Speaking to myself. Wait for Fane to loot the bodies. Yeah, Fane loots the bodies. How many arrows do I get back? Uh, uh, you get three back, as there were five rounds, but you got to fire more than that, so you get three back as a result. So just give yourself an additional yeah. three. It's crazy. Even whenever I'm playing a game, I can't get away from my job. I do this in real life as well. What, pat people down? <laughs> yeah. Do you need bodies? I pat people down. I'm gonna... You know what? I'm, 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 I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it now because you're so fucking loaded, and that is my fault as a result. Um, you said that you'd fix the loot check. table. Yeah, yeah. This this is me doing that fix. One check. <laughs> you said what check? One. Oh, one I'll check. I'll the bodies. I could use no, old shit. I think it's one check for anybody. Um, what 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 do you want me to roll again? Uh. A investigation or a slight hand, whichever is more advantageous to yourself. So, mm. you know, you pat them down. You kind of give a feel. These guys are here, particularly on a mission of training. That's a window paralysis. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I thought you were trying to go through it. Like, how... nah, 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 I'm just peeking. <laughs> Renard just trying to walk through a window, and I've realised I've made it big enough that he could have. Uh, uh, you. You <laughs> In between them, but three gold. It's not much. We <laughs> are mainly here as a training mission. We're not as you enter this house, the sweet smell of something that had been cooking and is long gone still lingers. The house is very dimly lit with just a single candle in the kitchen. You can tell based off of how it looks, however, that someone else did actually stay here. They clearly no longer stay here. In the that, house. That, that means we can stay here for the night. Well, we need to clear the house first. Make sure there's no more bad boys in here. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Look into this room. This is clearly a child's bedroom. Very much so. Two beds. To indicate that there were potentially two children at this house. At one point. No. Well, else you go into the kitchen. And the smell of anise seems to hit you quite strong before you get a back note of what can only be described as cumin. The place is, for the most part, kind of well kept, apart from the little mess over by the cooker where clearly whoever was cooking. Not a big fan of tidying up after themselves, but it is all just dried mess at this point. Ah yes, VTT doors. I love them a bits. Oh yeah. As you enter the living room, or what it would be, the sitting room, you see all manner of 
small made up camp beds, like bedrolls spread out across this rather mundane living room. The fire seems to have been out for quite some time as it is all greyed soot as opposed to the black and fresher soot. And as you open the master bedroom, you can see this place has mostly been raided and someone has been sleeping in the bed given the shape and such. You can tell it was more than likely the only human that was there. All right. Clear. Clear, clear, clear. I'm going to take all the bodies out back. Back them up. You stack the bodies up. And I'm going to burn them. So we'll see throughout that. You build a pyre using some of the heat mm -hmm. from the, you know, barn. You build a pyre for the bodies and set them alight. As you do, you watch as in the backyard of this house, the bodies catch a light. Does it smell pretty? But mm. that takes care of them for the most part. You also just dust away the remaining charrings of the Baj Draconian. Radio in. They found the training site. Dispatched six hobgoblins, a draconian and a human member of the army. Uh, we're going to rest here tonight. No survivors of the original occupants found. Is that 25? I don't know. I got found training site, dispatched six goblo hobgoblins and a human, one draconian. You can type down that A, you could, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's, that's, that's less than 35, just one bit. Just gonna wait a moment, he's gonna hear back. Okay, um, thanks. Rest up. If there's more work, we can pass it to you through here. Or come back city. Don't. Copy. Solid copy. All right, go back out. Let the guy, everybody know the house is clear. And I think it's appropriate uh, place to rest tonight. Yeah. yeah I have so, to head. Yep. No, I was going to say it to you, man. Uh, I was also going to say everyone else. Given that um, our boy Morales has to unfortunately head this early tonight, and God knows we're going to get RNG back. This is a very good time to, you know, there's a very good stop off point and it's completely safe at this point, I would say. You're in a house, so you're not exactly camping out. So I want to end it here. Um, I can't do Tuesday, but I can still do the Monday if you want. Um, I can stay up later on Monday. As if the Monday night works for everyone, that's the thing. So I don't, yeah, I don't like people missing out if I can avoid it. Is the only thing. It's like if I work, if I do it on a Monday, you know, someone might not be able to make it because of a prior commitment. Whereas if I do it on a Tuesday, you might have to leave early. However, you're still getting, you know, half of what's going on. However, given that we're also missing, um, missing Melano at the moment, you know, I can run her making a healing potion. <laughs> uh, but I know you were going to say something there, John, in regards to it. I don't know. You know, with yourself, with work and such. Um, I think I can make that work. I'll just switch Monday for Tuesday at work. I'll, for next week. Yeah, I'll check my shift as well for us. Obviously, um, I think I'm early or earlier. Um, I think I'm like eight, if not, I'm probably ten, which means like seven p.m. uh two p.m. for everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Gives us a good little stopping off point for the night. <laughs>